begin our questioning with Jim, if you'll start with number one there in the economy. Sure. Uh, would you have voted for TARP or any of the stimulus packages, and what impact do you think they've had on the economy? Uh, no, uh, I, I I would not have. Uh, I'm very I'm a I'm a I'm a deficit deficit hawk. Very concerned with um, what is happening with our balance sheet in this country. Uh, the debts that we are building up, and we're going to pass those down to our children. Um, in many ways, I consider the deficits to be a death sentence on the next generation. And uh, certainly, the country is is heading toward fiscal ruin. So, any time the Democrats want to spend more money, of course, I'll be incredibly suspicious. And with respect to TARP, um, I always thought it would just be a bailout of Wall Street and eventually turn into a slush fund for Obama. That's in exactly what it has become. Uh, their latest scheme is to uh, write down principal on, on folks' homes, uh, which maybe is kind of a kind of a laudable thing, maybe to help the real estate market get going. But in a lot of ways. Um, that was not what TARP was designed for, and I'm sure there'll be other things that they want to they want to tap into, um, which really wasn't legislated. Uh, I think it would have been John McCain's finest hour if he stood up against this back uh, in the fall of um, must have been fall of '08. Uh, instead, he joined forces with Barack Obama, and uh, that was a big mistake uh, when they when they passed TARP. I think I think TARP was passed in a panic, and, and looking back on it. Um, it just seemed like they were just bumbling along. With respect to the stimulus programs, um, uh, their stimulus programs in name, they've stimulated nothing uh, in any way. In, in my view, it's just been more money um, for pork, bar pork barrel projects, uh, more money to um, feed uh, Democrat special interests, uh, public sector unions, and the like. I mean, certainly, we. We could have there could have been such a a more effective catalyst by way of uh, reducing the payroll tax, for instance, uh, other tax relief, which the money would go directly in the pockets of consumers. Uh, instead, it's a big government, you know, very complicated program. It's, it's very hard to trace and really really understand what happens while well, when when these folks pass these bills uh, that are massive. Dollars at a time, and that's what that's what the, that program, in fact, was. Um, so I am opposed to that form of uh, legislation. Regarding energy independence, listen to this statement and please comment. Barring a major technological breakthrough, energy dependence and free trade are impossible to achieve simultaneously. The government could subsidize, these are bullets, the government could subsidize inefficient energy sources, not a free market position. Another bullet. The government could ban imports of energy commodities, obviously not free trade. Another bullet. The government could rid could get rid of some restrictions on domestic production, and that would increase production in the U.S., but we would not be completely energy independent since drilling through sand is as cheap as it gets, and imported oil could still match our best price. Most Republicans will say they want both at the same time. Quite a question. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have a short version of that question? Okay. Do you want uh, the government to subsidize inefficient energy? No. Or the government could ban imports of energy commodities, obviously not free trade, or the government could get rid of some restrictions on domestic production, and that would increase productions in the U.S. where we would not be completely energy independent, since drill lines are sand. That's well, whenever, basic whenever the government's involved in any way, I would, I would, I would have concerns. Um, certainly, they, there's a role for the federal government to regulate commerce, but uh, beyond that, you know, I am a free trader. Uh, I am concerned about the balance of trade, most of which is affected negatively by importing oil from uh, from countries which probably aren't our friends. 
uh, in, in any way. Uh, but you know, you have, you have a lot of specificity in that question about you know oil sands and uh, uh, other other ways to, which are probably are inefficient ways to to uh, increase our our energy supply. Uh, I, I certainly I think trying to achieve an energy independence is is the direction we need to go in. But usually the free market can solve that the best. And the more that we have meddling by the federal government, probably we won't get to achieve our goals. Okay, just a quick follow-up. Sure. Um, the um, federal government owns much of the land that could be used for domestic drilling. Do you have a stand on that? Well, uh, I probably don't have a stand on that. I'm going to probably look into that more. Okay. Uh, I, I certainly can start to frame the two sides of that argument, but I don't really have a position at this time. Okay. Um, what immediate actions need to be taken to turn the economy around and stabilize the dollar? Well, you know, that, again, that's a very broad question. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I, I am going to, as a congressperson, I think, I, I feel I'm well suited and I will be a good congressperson. I think I have the smarts for it and I think I have uh, the work ethic to be a good congressperson. Uh, my core beliefs are that of being a fiscal conservative and ultimately the private economy will solve all problems. Uh, I think about my own, my own profession uh, conducting real estate closings, and we have a lot of government intervention now in the ho housing industry. And the more that the government meddles with this program, this credit, it distorts the marketplace. Um, so the more that government, especially the federal government, is out of our lives, uh, I think eventually we will right the ship of this economy. Uh, other efforts to artificially stimulate, I think, have been unsuccessful and only increased the deficit. So I know there's always a knee-jerk reaction that things have to be done in a, in a big, colossal way. And it's usually the wrong way to go. Um, we're $12 trillion, probably $13 trillion of cumulative def deficit right now, uh, not counting unfunded mandates, uh, which are beyond, beyond conception right now. So usually, from a basic core principle, if you lower taxation, reduce regulation, and, and do things that promote the private economy, uh, that will be the best way to move this economy forward because that's, that's usually where most jobs are created. Instead, what happens with uh, big government, um, as the progressives see it, there tends to be more burdens, uh, more taxes on the very, the very folks that in, that in fact create jobs. Obamacare is a lot of taxation on small businesses. Uh, and, of course, the seniors are going to suffer uh, with the Medicare cuts. But, as always, entitlement programs tend to help one group of folks paid for by another group of folks. Uh, and I think those policies are the wrong policies, especially if they, if they act, as, uh, act as a barrier to growth. Okay. 